In this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, the connection using the I2C. Before you make the connections, you have to make a small adjustment to the jumpers. As I mentioned before, this particular board doesn't come with a switch. So you have to desolder and solder again. Look at this documentation on the left side. In order to do the I2C connection, you, you must have the chip, sorry not the chip, the switch H0 connected to 1, 1 means uh, the VCC, and the switch S1 connected to 0. So on the right side, I have, if you look at this part of the image here, so I have desoldered the SPA connections and I have soldered it and if you look at this one, so this indicates the switch S0 connected to 1. So you can see that the 1 is on the top and 0 is on the bottom and there is a solder here. So this connects the switch to uh, 1. Likewise, on the left side you got the switch uh, S1 which as you can see here, uh, it's uh, shorted here or soldered here uh, to make uh, it zero. So that's all you have to do before you start making the connections. So this is how you'll end up making the connections. So as you can see here, you have to make uh, very few connections. If you already know about Arduino, you know that there are two wires that are used for uh, SPA connections, that is the SDA and the SCL. And if you see the documentation of any Arduino, the SCL and SDA are present in the A4 and A5. So, on the reader data side, I have the connection to connect uh, the the five volts, which is uh, connected this five volts here, and the ground connects to the ground here, and the pin called MOSI stroke STA. This is the STA connection, which connects to the pin number A4, and Next to that, you have this SCL, if you see here, SCL. So that goes to the pin number A5. You also have to make one additional connection, that is uh, the IRQ pin. So the IRQ pin is here. So that IRQ pin, so I have connected here for pin number D2. You can connect to any pin, but you have to remember the pin number you are connected. The rest of the connections are still the same. I am using this uh, RGB. So I'm using this uh, RGB connection. So RGB uh, LED. So this is there's no change here. It just connects to uh, the D6 and D5. And if I've not mentioned before, D6 is the PWM connection as well as uh, D5. So we are using PWM so that we can vary the intensity of the LED. Otherwise, you will have either um, extreme bright or nothing. So after you do the wiring, I'm going to show you how to test that this connection works. And we are going to go back to the Arduino IDE and run the same examples. So I went to this folder and I just executed this Arduino IDE and sometimes the Arduino opens up with your the last project here opened. Um, here I just turn out to open uh, the new project. So what you're going to do now is check that this I2C connection works and as you can see in this video you know I just got uh, uh, the wiring done. So there's nothing 
anything special here, just a simple wiring. So I got the same uh, Arduino Nano. So I'm going to try examples and go to the the examples here, and I'm going to run the one four four three UID example. And this time, the couple of things you have to notice here. Um, we are not going to use this line, so I'm going to comment it because that's for the SPI. The I2C connection is here, and it doesn't mention anything about the ST and SCL because uh, they're the only way to connect using I2C. So what you see here is uh, just uh, two parameters. If you look at this line, you got the first parameter says where we have connected the IRQ line and we know that it's connected to D2 and the second line says where we have connected the reset line however the documentation says that the reset line is not used as well so so let's not concern with uh, the reset pin So if you go a little bit up, you can see that the hash defined constant for IRQ, which is 2. And free, we are not connected here. However, you can connect to RST pin and, you know, there is a RST pin next to, uh, uh, next to the IRQ. But I know this library doesn't use RST, so you don't have to worry about that. So we have uncommented and we have got everything right. I'm just going to compile probably before you do that it's also every time you know it, it does remember your board and the port number but sometimes depending on which USB port you use uh, you might get uh, COM3 or COM56 okay so the compiling is done fine let's run upload this to the Arduino So it says uh, done uploading. So let's go to the, the serial monitor screen. Okay, if you see this message, that means your connection is works all right. You have to see this, uh, sorry, the top bit, okay. Little bit about, you know, the top three lines, uh, especially uh, the version line, firmware version 1.6. So I mentioned in my, uh, the first uh, two videos, the PN532 has an inbuilt firmware. Firmware. Okay. Now, this version 1.6 is the version of this firmware. It's not the version of the library. Keep in mind. This is just a firmware which is inside. So, firmware, you know, is something like it has got a series of uh, some set of commands and probably in, in the future videos I'm going to talk about uh, what's inside the firmware and uh, what are the various commands just just for the time being keep in mind this version number 1.6 is the firmware of PN532 the firmware sitting inside the chip of PN532 okay so that's fine so this shows um, the connection is fine probably you can start uh, scanning you know uh, all the tags you know we did before I'm going to try with the MIFI 1k okay it recognized so that's fine so it looks like you know it's working all right likewise I can quickly check with the 4k it's working all right try with the ultralight works all right we'll try with the ULC again we, I mentioned this before. For you, will see how to probably go a little bit near or change the direction. Oh, yeah, it recognizes. Okay. I still don't understand on the technical side why this uh, ULC behaves like that, whether it's something to do with this antenna or, you know, we've got antenna in two places. One is on the, the reader writer, one even in the card has antenna as well. So I just don't know. Ultralight EV1, that's fine. And I got NTAG 216, that's fine. 
and I got uh, the key fob works fine I got uh, NTAG 212 works fine and the ultralight C which which is a printer on plastic yeah that's it all right and the last is the disk file okay so this works as well so that's all you know we just uh, uh, proved that in our i2c connection uh, with the nano works fine